What's going on guys? It's gonna be a late one today. Welcome back to the channel. Back to True Fight Gaming, that's me. Let's get back into it guys. Another episode of Final Fantasy VII Remake. And thanks to all the new fans. I hope you are enjoying yourself, staying safe, all that stuff. Let's get back into it guys. Last time we left off, we had just met Corleno. Uh, we're just going over a few different scenes. I really want people who haven't seen this to experience it. Yes, yes I am! Here I come, baby! Hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. <laughs> oh. 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 So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Man. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> uh, some guy with a gun for an arm! I was paid to find him! Paid by who? I can't tell you that! They'd hunt me down like a dog! Well, you better. Cause if you don't, I'll rip them off! <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger! It was Heidegger! Shinra! And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash him. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7 is gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? When they think they've already won, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a winner! You get an all-expenses-paid trip to the sewers. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> Mr. President, I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the Director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Breathe. 
progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. So welcome back guys, hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, uh, that was a great scene, I just wanted people to see it just in case they missed the last couple of episodes, if you go and see it you can see the whole thing up until that point and you can really enjoy the whole thing if you watch from episode 1 to now you'll really understand it and if you're a fan and you've been playing it I hope you've been enjoying it just like me let's get back into it guys um, I'm thinking about things what I need we're gonna go and pick Aero or Tifa so I think I'm gonna pick Tifa this time Tifa? Oh, uh. <sighs> we have to get back to the slums right now yeah I didn't want to drag Aerith into all this. She'll understand. How do you two know each other? I saved her. She saved me. Round and round it goes. And that's all there is to it? Sure there isn't something else going on? Uh, uh, huh. Damn it. real quick I've just noticed that it's weak to fire and I actually don't have anything that's fire on me at this current point I've been using ice and lightning so um, I'm gonna go off screen uh, you won't notice the difference but I have changed my material now there we go so we're ready to start and you won't notice it but uh, I did fail two times to be him I got right to the end twice and I didn't manage to do it so this is my third attempt so hopefully we can do this guys it's actually a really fun boss it's one of the first bosses that I've really enjoyed what I've got got and done is equipped to fire to my weapon elemental fire uh, I've got curiga block material barrier material poison material I've got a bit of ice and lightning you don't really need it that much uh, you basically need HP up, MP up. At this point, we should be getting rid of any material each fight that we don't really need, and just making sure we have like things like steadfast block, manifest, or magic up, or look up, something like that. We should be trying to get most out of it, like crit, damage, HP, MP. We should be trying to get all that up. At the moment, I am going for his tail or his arm or horns I believe he has several different parts that's why I've been attacking I've been playing it so fast lately I've been doing so much recently 
again. Uh, I have really been enjoying this. It's been amazing. And he just looks absolutely amazing. I didn't think he would look this good. Generally, it's pretty hard to make things look so much better. There is several things I want to point out in every fight. Even small fights, they have an attack called Bound. Now, what this does is it stops one of your characters. What you want to do there is you want to switch to a different character. And one of the things I'm learning to do is using a move and switching. Use a move, switch. Use a move, switch. And that's how you play the game when you get to this kind of just before this point, maybe the last boss or this boss. But you get a certain amount of experience and you start to pick up the system a lot more and I hope that if you guys are watching this uh, you're learning just like me and you're getting better and you're enjoying it as much as I am especially in quarantine it has been quite a sad time at the moment I'm hoping that everyone is doing okay staying safe sort of thing I'm just enjoying myself so much on this game just two for combos bam bam oh yeah get in there Damn! Uppercut. There we go. Right, so we've got to make sure we've got to heal up quite a lot. So, uh, trying to hit his weak points here and get a stagger bar up. There's something I noticed about certain moves do certain things. Like, uh, some things do a little bit more with their stagger rate than others. Like, magic, if you implement magic and then. Uh, normal attacks and then also uh, things like debuffs or things like that like poison or something like that uh, there's a lot of that in this like uh, there's a lot of people enemies that kind of bound you or they will try and stop you or slow you down it really uh, makes you think about uh, what where to position yourself and what characters good at each each uh each of their actual things oh yeah yeah give me some of that summon sorry i know it's sudden come forth ifrit yeah badass go on go on live on and prosper oh hell no What's he doing? Okay, okay. Let's get out of the way. I have done this twice. This is actually where I died last time. Uh, he tries to flood you. Ouch! Yeah, that, that's one of the really bad things about this AI. You can't control three characters at the same time. And the AI doesn't move. So it's the only bad thing if Squareanix can do something about that in the next part, that would be really helpful. Thank you, I know that you're meant to be swapping constantly, but there are times where you are pressured and you don't have time to think. I mean, look at me, I am literally down to no health right now, and I'm literally being saved by Ifrit. It's like, oh, Ifrit can save my life, and I literally... I have no HP right now. Okay, he's going. I'm just gonna heal up real quick. Oh no! I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Damn! He uses a lot of water and uh kind of fiery wind moves. He's actually really tough to start off. I mean, I'm at my current level, I'm not really doing too bad if I don't see so myself. But uh, yeah, his horns glow up and it kind of tells you when he's gonna do an attack. And you can kind of tell when he, he moves onto all fours when he's gonna do attack. So that's like your your guess to move out of the way and maybe try and... Oh god, that attack literally it's got me so many times. Oh my god. Here we go again. 
Can I try and heal up? Yeet! Damn! That was some damage. Bam, bam. Oh, yeah. Can I heal up quick? Get me some punches in. Damn. Here we go. Oh my god. He's so close right now. It's unbelievable. I'm almost there. I need to heal up. Maybe Phoenix down there. Yep. I need to heal up. And I need to pressure him. So maybe some fire. As much as I can. Oh. Yeah. I'm clear out. Here we go. Let's go, guys. Here we go. We're almost there. We got this. We're so close right now. So close. We've literally got him almost. But he, he does so much damage. I'm going to have to heal up from my MP, HP. I need to get myself some defense. I need to hit his weaknesses. And as you can see, I picked up a second uh, elemental material just before we got to this area. It's near the uh, mansion on the right hand side when I went down there, I picked it up. Uh, I put it onto Tifa there and I put fire elemental. I'm actually having a lot of fun with moving the material around and things like that. I'm gonna use Aerith Special. Damn! Oh, I, I just, I am absolutely in love with every single move and how you have to implement it. Oh, damn! Ouch. Give me a hot minute, please. Fire! Damn. Here we go. Uppercut. Let's pray real quick. Oh, damn. He got me. He got me good. Fire. Boom. Like a boss. Here we go. He's almost dead. I've almost got him. Can we do it? Oh, we're going to need to heal up again. It's really low right now. Need to heal up real quick. There we go. Oh my god, that attack is just get He's getting more ferocious. Cloud's got his limit break. Yes! We're going to finish it off in style, guys. Boom! Let's do this. Yeah! Yes! There we go, guys. Finally achieved it. That was such a good fight. Hope you enjoyed this video guys that's the end and we will continue this uh tomorrow hope you enjoyed and i'll see you there it goes. soon bye do you think it lives down here or it was probably corneo's pet when we were dinner <laughs> hey you don't believe that crazy story of his do you Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But if he was telling the truth, hmm? and there's still a chance he was, isn't there, then we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what? Right? Mm. Mm. Hmm? Uh, Tifa! What is it? I'm pretty sure we can use these tunnels to make our way back to Sector 7. The sewers under Sector 6 and 7 should be connected. If you get in trouble, just follow the stench. Another one of those lessons? An avalanche thing, actually. We use them to move around the Undercity.